And Fox 26 is your Gulf Coast Weather Authority. That's right. And we had a beautiful day today. Yes. I know that we're all thinking about that eclipse, though. Yes, the eclipse about five days away. Super exciting. We've been building up the excitement, but Mother Nature, Mother Nature rather, may let us down, unfortunately. Right. We've been tracking that forecast, but it is looking pretty cloudy. And yes, there will likely be some rain. So here is the setup for Monday. It is going to be a super phenomenal event taking place. We've got the moon that will be passing between the Earth and the Sun and of course the moon will cast that localized shadow on Earth and for some folks just to the west of us we're talking about a total solar eclipse meaning the moon will totally block out the sun and it's going to be pretty dark but it's likely going to be difficult to see here due to the forecast that we're calling for for those thick clouds of rain but here's what we're expecting totality or that total solar eclipse path san antonio parts of austin dallas up to cleveland indianapolis and into buffalo so those are some of the spots if the weather cooperates that will get to enjoy that total solar eclipse even here in houston we are expecting a partial eclipse but the majority of the sun will likely be covered by the moon. In fact, we're expecting about 94.2% coverage and it likely begins at 12.20 p.m. on Monday. The peak or the greatest coverage around 1.40 p.m. ending around 3.01 p.m. But here is the bad news. This is our GFS model for Monday through the early afternoon and it is showing a lot of green and a lot of white. So that means a lot of thick clouds here and across the state and yes, the chance for some showers that will likely block our view. So unfortunately forecast not looking great now, but of course if you check us out on Fox Local, we'll have folks stationed all across that path of totality. And guess what? The clouds are not going to be in every single location, so we'll still get great viewing if you download our Fox Local Smart TV app. Things are quiet out there for tonight. We've got mainly clear skies, temperatures still on the pleasant side, 68 degrees, and that wind starting to settle down. We've had pretty breezy conditions today, but high pressure building in, so not as much wind for tonight. Weather where you live, Galveston, Tumball, Sugarland, looking great. A little cool for you in Sugarland right now, already down to 60 degrees, but as I mentioned, not as windy. We had gusts near 30 miles per hour for several spots earlier, but now not quite as breezy. Storm system that produced all of those tornadoes, severe weather, and even the threat for flooding and heavy snow, still impacting parts of the Great Lakes and parts of the Northeast, but that is moving away from us as that area of high pressure slowly but surely settles to the south and east, and that will provide us with gorgeous weather for the next couple of days. So not much to worry about for tonight. Clear skies, temperatures dipping to the 50s for you in the woodlands, so jacket weather early in the morning, maybe the long sleeves, but it is going to warm up nicely by tomorrow afternoon. If you are going to be out and about in Montgomery as you head out the door tomorrow, temperatures likely in the 50s, but it's going to be a very nice rebound there as well. Temperatures climbing all the way to the 80s. In fact, all across Harris County tomorrow, we're talking about low 80s, 82 for the high in Houston, eastern Harris County, LaPorte. Pasadena, Channel View likely between 80 to 82. And how about 83 for that high in Katy tomorrow after starting off with those chilly temperatures. So we've got great weather for Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. No major issues expected. Great golf, beach, park weather, but things start to change for part two of the weekend. In fact, we're going to bump those rain chances up to 60% for Sunday, 50% for Monday. So that equals fairly poor eclipse viewing for us, unfortunately on Monday. There's still time for the forecast to change, but for now, probably not going to get the best view here. But of course, we've got a lot of people stationed in other parts of the country, and we'll have all of that coverage on Fox Local. Our coverage will begin at noon on Monday, so check us out if you don't have the Fox Local app. You got to download it. Head to your Smart TV's app store. All right, Misha, thank you.